The DS200 is the ballot tabulator used in polling places and early voting locations in the state of Rhode Island. The DS200 is manufactured by Election Systems and Software based in Omaha, Nebraska. To test the DS200, the tester needs to process a set number of ballots covering all candidates in a wide range of combinations. This includes the cards from the express vote testing process that are checked a final time by staff before being added to the test deck. The DS200s are set up by Board of Elections staff and have a checklist and a test deck of ballots attached. To test the DS200, the tester must first input the election code. The DS200 will then print a configuration report with the machine settings. The DS200 will print a zero report after that to verify that there have been no ballots cast on the machine before starting the testing procedure. The tester will review both reports and then press the green Go to Voting Mode button. The DS200 is now ready to accept ballots from the test deck. The tester will feed the ballots in one at a time until they have inserted the entire test deck. Then they will press the Close Poll button to tabulate the results. The DS200 will then print a voting results report for the test deck and a write-in report if a race with a write-in option is present. The machine will then send the test results through the Board of Elections encrypted network. Once the results finish transmitting, the DS200 will notify the tester that results have been transmitted successfully. If the machine passes the testing procedure, the tester will press the Reopen Poll button to clear the test votes from the DS200. This requires a separate password to clear the votes that the tester must enter. The tester will then select Clear Votes and confirm that the machine has been reset to zero and then power down the DS200. Another pair of Board of Elections officials will then review the zero report and sign the bottom. A pair of officials will also review the modem report of the sent results to verify that they match the test deck of ballots that were cast. They then remove the reports, checklists, and ballots from the DS200 as they prepare them for shipment, locking the unit compartments and sealing them using tamper evidence seals, which are recorded. The DS850 is a high-speed tabulator used to count certified mail ballots. The DS850 can quickly handle a large volume of ballots and is also produced by ES and S. The tester starts by confirming on screen that the DS850 has been zeroed out and there are no votes recorded on the machine. The tester will then go through every page and verify that each race has zero votes. The tester will then set the DS850 to start scanning ballots. The test stack for the DS850 consists of pre-folded ballots to mimic what they will be like when they come out of the envelopes after they have been certified. The tester will then put the ballots on the tray so the DS850 can start scanning. The DS850 separates ballots into three stacks. The top bin is for ballots that the machine has determined are blank or have unreadable marks or overvoted races. The middle bin can be used to store ballots containing a write-in vote, but this is not always necessary as the machine captures an image of each write-in vote. The bottom bin is for ballots that have been successfully counted. The counted test deck ballots from the bottom and middle drawers are stored in a labeled box. The first stack must be run through a second time after the tester changes the options to accept blank ballots and overvotes. The results are then saved and a batch report is printed and the batch report is stored with the test ballots. Testing is now complete and the machines are ready for the election. Federal law requires every polling place to have a device that allows a voter with a disability to mark their ballot independently without any assistance. In Rhode Island, we use the Express Vote by ES and S. This is the testing procedure. The express votes are unpacked and set up in the warehouse by the Board of Elections staff. Each machine has been assigned to a precinct or early voting location and is marked with a tag and given a corresponding checklist for the testing process. The tester will reference the checklist and make sure that the serial number and precinct assignment match the sheet.
that they will also check the items as they are completed and make notes as necessary. The tester will then open the side compartment on the express vote to access the power button. The tester will press the power button and then wait for the machine to power up. The express vote will then ask for an election code that the tester must enter. Once the tester correctly enters the password, the express vote will finish loading the election. The tester will then reconfirm on the screen that the polling place and election are correct and power is being supplied. The express vote is now ready to mark ballots. The express vote uses a card system that looks slightly different from traditional ballots. The tester inserts the card in the opening on the right side of the machine. The tester will then use the headphones that are included with the express vote to listen to the verbal prompts from the machine in both English and Spanish. The tester then uses a pre-marked traditional test ballot to check the accuracy of each race and all the candidates present on the ballot and make selections based on what is on their sample test ballot. The tester will then reconfirm on the summary screen that all their selections match the sample test ballot they were given. When the tester finishes reviewing and confirming the accuracy of their selections, they press Next on the bottom right corner and then Print Card. The tester then reviews the printed card and compares it to the sample test ballot, making sure all the choices and races match the sample test ballot they've been given. The tester then reinserts the voted card into the express vote to reread it a final time and confirm the races and the choices made are correct. The tester will then power down the express vote and the testing is complete. The marked test card will be inserted into the DS200 being used for that same precinct as part of the testing process.